Alright, more Race the Sun today from the people who brought you Minecraft videos and Movie Star Planet videos and Borderlands videos and all sorts of other videos. But today, actually we're uploading a lot of videos today, but today we are playing Race the Sun. Actually, right now we're playing Race the Sun. We're Woo. We're actually playing a lot of games at the moment. I'm not, you know, on different computers because uh, the kids are heavily involved with our process. They like making money on the ads that you guys watch. Not that I'm telling you guys to watch our ads, but you know, when you do, it uh, helps us make more videos but you know do what you want all right that was the first region it was a perfect region and uh, if you haven't been keeping up I've been doing a few episodes on this had to skip back a little bit so I could give you sort of a rundown on how the game works, the progression of the game, uh, where we're going, where we've been, whence and whither, yada yada yada. So, right now, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the uh, sort of maps we're looking at, and uh, if you're not, well, that was a good chance. Oh, look at that. I unlocked level 4. There's now a jump pickup. But, if you're looking today at the maps, which are, you know, obviously the first couple of levels are fairly similar to the normal 1 and 2 levels. Let's uh, go to the next. It's good. I'm glad. So the challenges right now are collect 25 tries, which are these pyramid-like blute things. Clear two regions in a round, easy enough. Clear two regions with no collisions in one round. I, I can probably do all three of these challenges in one one run, so let's do it. Let's do it! Race the sun! Right now we are racing drunk, but that shouldn't affect our performance too badly. So I've been playing this thing for so long, sort of second nature. Not that I encourage flying while intoxicated that you can get a FUI or flying under the influence penalty which may revoke your flying license that was a perfect region though but it's only region one and we are at a times six multiplier we are now at region two, doing the normal tropes. Let's get through this one as well, shall we? So we can uh, prove our point. <laughs> or not. But we did collect 25 twice. We're now at unlock to level five, and we get the magnet attachment. It's a very good attachment, actually. Once you reach level five, you get the magnet, which means that you can pick up tries mm, sort of farther away than the usual. So, configure ship. That's exactly what you want to do. Magnet's already on. Look at these guys. They're so helpful. So, 
Let's uh, uh let's go back. And uh, switch between the mouse and the joystick. Sometimes that is a little inconvenient, but you know what? The game is so simple that uh, it's fine. Didn't get that jump. No problemo. Who needs it? So when we start getting to the upper echelon of regions that we really need our power-ups. As for the time being, pretty much play by ear. Get some multipliers. Some boosts. Get some jumps. It's all good. That was region whatever. I don't even know. Now we're on region two. Okay, so that was, re that was region one. I shouldn't be so boastful about that. Region one. It's your typical cakewalk. Now, if I wanted to uh, use this jump, I would just hit the green slash A button on the Xbox 360 controller, or um, actually, I, I don't even know what it is on the, uh, on the keyboard, so I never, I never play with the keyboard. Oh, but let's jump. Let's, let's jump because, uh, just so I can show you. Now, one of the challenges here... Damn it. Is to collide with four objects. I've collided with three. I was planning on colliding with four. But, uh, the front and center collision sort of, um, took that steam out of me, so... We're gonna collide with, uh, one more here. Oh, there it is. May as well do it right at the beginning. That challenge is done. I'll probably get to level 6 because of that. But, uh... Not like that's a huge milestone or anything. I mean, level 6 is level 6. When I quit... Or, I don't say quit, I never quit, but when I erased or reset the game before, um, we were at level like 23, 24 or something like that. Maybe not that high, I don't know. We might not have been on, on, on the 20s yet. I know we were up there though. It might have been our multiplier. Had to jump there. Probably did not jump there. Probably would have made it, but I didn't make it there. <laughs> I did, however, collide with four objects. All right, now the first challenge is travel a distance of eighty thousand uh, units, kilometers, miles. I don't know. Eighty thousand. Clear two regions. Oh wow! I did not. I've done those yet. That's crazy. That's sort of sad and pathetic that I haven't done that yet. I could probably do all three right now. Let's let's work on that. <laughs> I mean, at right now. Let's let's work on that right now. All right. On this run, we'll do all three. Honestly, if I shut up for a minute and actually pay attention to what I'm doing, that's it's probably a good chance of that happening. But you know, that requires me to not talk to you, and you know, then you'll actually just have to watch me play, and it's boring. 
clearly you want to hear me talk, right? Or not. Maybe you should put in the comments whether or not you actually want to hear me commentate while I'm driving, but there's region one. That's a perfect region. No collisions. Let's see if we can do the same thing with region two. Should be able to. Probably not that much more difficult. But you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Because, uh, you know, if you're talking to the audience like I am and you're not really paying attention, then you could collide with something. And that's not particularly good for the game. Go this way. Now I am out of the spotlight. Yeah, it's, it's fairly easy actually to get through two regions. I think, you know, I just did right there. So. You know, and you get it as you go along. If you're not very good at Race to Sun, just, just keep on. I've, I've had years and years of Sega Rally experience. Sega Rally, if you never played it, was a game on the original Sega Saturn. Uh, it came out after Daytona USA. Daytona USA was one of the launch titles. But Sega Rally was really the game that uh, solidified the racing genre. And I'm, uh... I'm not embarrassed to say that Sega Rally is probably the reason that I... Um, avoided a lot of accidents in my lifetime. Real accidents. I mean, like, legitimate car coming towards me, turning the wrong way, and, you know, had to nimbly, pimbly navigate around them. And I've done that. Because of Psycho Rally. And now, Race the Sun is sort of a, uh, not as graphically enhanced, but definitely um, in the same genre, you know, on the same lines as Sega Rally, although, you know, there's no jump. Well, no, there are jumps, but, you know, I don't know. It's, oh, I like I'm slowing down because there's no, there's no sun. Like this. And I'm done. I suppose that's, that's good for one episode. I, I, I unlock level six. I get a multiplier upgrade. That's what happens when you unlock level six. Some knowledge for you. And, uh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I unlock level 7, too. I played this game before. World Portal Key. Yeah, okay, so this is the portal thing that I was talking about last episode, maybe two episodes ago? I don't know. It was one of those. Maybe an episode or two ago. And then you can go into the uh, sort of flying slash uh, Star Destroyer type episode and get through that. And there's a lot of tries in there. And anyway, go into these one of these portals. It's good for you. Anyway, all right. So next time we are together here, we will uh, we'll, we'll get some more levels. Okay, this is Chris, and until then, race the sun.